A day will come, hopefully far, far into the future, when the Earth can no longer support the thriving civilization that it now does. But how, exactly, will the world meet its end? Every star goes through life phases. Our sun is currently in the most stable part of its life, and will remain there for at least another few billion years. But after several billion years of life, average-sized stars run out of hydrogen in their core, leaving only helium. This causes the center of the star to compress, which in turn allows the outer edge of the star to expand. Ultimately, the sun will grow past the Earth's orbit, engulfing our planet. We could suffer the same fate as the dinosaurs. When a six mile wide asteroid crashed into the planet 65 million years ago, it caused 70% of species to perish. NASA is currently monitoring over a thousand near Earth asteroids, and several hundred of them could be threats. 70,000 years ago, a supervolcano at Lake Toba in Indonesia erupted causing a volcanic winter lasting six to 10 years and potentially a thousand year cooling period. There are six known supervolcanoes around the world. The one under Yellowstone National Park spewed over a thousand cubic meters of ash and lava in a single eruption 640,000 years ago. Some researchers have estimated that 87,000 people would die instantly if it were to erupt today. As many as 200 million people died from the Black Plague in the 14th century. Half of Europe's population died over the course of four years from that one disease. Health epidemics can be devastating, even now with the benefit of modern medicine. If a deadly disease suddenly developed or a terrorist group released a mutated virus, it would take months for researchers to develop a new vaccine or drug. And even then, there's no promise it would be effective. The magnetic fields that protect the Earth from the sun's highly radioactive solar winds are the result of iron and molten metal present at the Earth's core. Over time, the movement of this liquid metal causes the magnetic field to shift and weaken in certain areas. We don't know for sure what this could mean for humanity. That would mainly depend on how long it takes for the magnetic field to shift, which can take thousands of years. But a weakened magnetic field can allow solar flares and cosmic background radiation to reach the surface of the Earth killing many species. Most of these disastrous events have already happened on Earth before. And if it's happened before, it can happen again.